Okay, let's jump into the difference between tactical and buy and hold. Now buy and hold is basically built on modern portfolio theory, which is there's, there's a micro and a macro. So we're going to look at the micro, meaning the manager level. So they have their fund and there's different investments that they buy within their fund, right? So are they buying and holding within the fund? And then you have a bunch of these different funds according to modern portfolio theory. So let's say this one is large cap growth. And then this is large cap value. And this is mid cap. And you have international and you have high yield. So anyway, so this is your overall portfolio. So is your manager buy and hold? Meaning they just buy and they hold because of the mandate of their prospectus and is who's managing your overall portfolio are they basically buying and holding everything because that's what modern portfolio theory says you should do now they may rebalance within the portfolio a little bit maybe move some money from here to there and so forth but a majority of it is you're in it for the long haul which is fine when the markets go up generally you're making money however when they go down you know the the big downdrafts the big 20 to 50 percent downdrafts you go down with it because it comes back to their overall philosophy of modern portfolio theory meaning or should we get out of everything number one th that's the micro or if your manager is handcuffed because of, of a prospectus they can't get out so why don't we look at that first and I'll show you what I'm talking about okay let's just type in top growth it's right there growth mutual funds and let's uh, go down here we'll go to 20 best large stock funds all right and this is according to the street ratings we'll just take a look at this first one PDLAX so this is probably going to take us to their rating here okay so the fund seeks long-term growth of capital. Under normal circumstances, the fund invests at least 80% of its net assets. So there you go. That's the prospectus item right there. It's saying at least 80% of its net assets. So what that means is that if a 2008 comes along or the internet crash, this manager has no choice. He might be able to hold 10 to 20% for cash, but that's it. The other 80 must be fully invested so what he's investing in in this case he's investing in Russell 1000 growth or an index and you know that he's using different comparisons trying to buy advantages in different companies that way now going back to the chart I used in the blog that you just read if you're a long-term growth guy this overall market movement is a good thing right you're gonna make money and like I said in the blog every time the market does this you know some kind of downdraft all these red circles these are buying opportunities you want to buy low sell high but then if you continue that philosophy here in the red square and whether you picked this new trend up and that's what I really want to talk about today this trend what is a trend define the define a trend if you didn't pick this trend up guess what if you're using modern portfolio theory and your prospectus says 80% must be fully invested at all times, it doesn't matter if you identify this trend or not. You're going down. So what is tactical? What's the difference? Well, tactical can do this, right? It can be long, so fully invested, hoping your investment goes up. That's long. But a tactical manager can do two other things as well. They can go to cash. They can go 100% if they want to. Now, we know with the fund we just looked at, it could go to 20% cash, but that still means 80% is exposed to this downdraft. But a tactical manager can go 100% cash. What's another thing that many of them can do? Well, many of them can go inverse or short, if you will, whether they're writing specific short positions or they're using an ETF which we talked about many times in many blogs they can use an ETF an inverse ETF and in fact there's a video that's on the Academy if you just go to the ETF the inverse ETF video I'll, it's not a very long one 
you can walk through and you can I sh literally show you how this works. You can see it live on the screen. But going back to this issue of defining a trend, so let's just look over the last week. Now, a tactical manager, I don't think there's many tactical managers worth their salt that think in an overall market movement, right? In an overall market move, let's call this move here over. Let's just, you know, this is 1999. I just use this for the internet bubble example in the blog. But let's say this arc here represents the last couple years. I don't think there's many tactical managers that think that we're in this spot right here, right? Most tactical managers thinks we're somewhere near a market high, so we're somewhere in this area. Do some of them think that this last week? is pointing toward this one well, some of them are but that's the whole point is it's a big question mark right we don't know if over the last week was something like this situation here or this we don't know that and what will tell us that well time will tell us that time within our models to measure right nobody has a crystal ball so we have these models and every manager has a different one and just so you know the models there's over there's several hundred different models and every manager uses different combination of models and they they have their algorithm and they look at these different things and they come up and they make a determination so our job on our overall platform is to choose managers that are tactical that have different models and everybody some of the managers are looking that we're right here some are looking we're right here some are looking that we're right here some are looking we're right here and the combination of this with all these different scenarios that they can go along they can go to cash in either from zero to one hundred percent or many of them can go inverse in some way you have this overall platform that allows you to minimize what's called your drawdown so we're going to talk about that in a second minimize your drawdown but let's really understand this point about defining a trend if over the last week it ends up that it was something like this and the market rebounds then the managers that took advantage of it by buying here then you are going to make money over the next couple weeks and everything's gonna be fine however if it ends up that it was here this is where we're at now some of the managers may have bought that but over time as the models tell you to say no 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 there's more of this pain to come then that's when they start taking more positions in cash or eventually if it's part of their model they start going inverse or they go short okay now this area right here this difference let's call it right here this this judgment of is this a correction or is it a new trend that's where this drawdown risk measurement comes into place and the drawdowns that we have for most investors is somewhere between six and ten percent so it's okay if your portfolio goes down two three six percent in this period of time if it ends up we're not here but we're actually here because if it's not a new trend then this bounces back pretty quickly and it ends up you weren't down the two three four six percent very long and you actually are back in the positive and doing well however if we are here right and the portfolio approaches this down ten percent all the models are telling us hold on this is now a different new direction trend and the changes are made and the changes in the tactical managers are as we said they can go cash or they can take advantage by going inverse or they can go short right but by doing this the cash insulates you from piercing through this 10 percent and the inverse and short if it's a new trend actually starts moving you in the positive direction and making money this is why tactical managers even in a crushing market like 2008 actually made money why because as the markets going down you're making money through inverse uh, or being short this is the difference between tactical and buy and hold both of these philosophies both of these strategies are going to have temporary six to ten percent drawdowns because you're waiting to determine if it's a trend or not but once a trend is established that's where these two 
strategies diverge completely. The buy and hold may see the new trend, but it can't take advantage of it, and this is where you get killed, whereas a tactical identifies a new trend, and they tactically, they take advantage of it by going to cash or, as we said, inverse and short. Okay, hope this helps uh, during this particular time with the markets going on as we head into the, the elections. And I don't know what's going to happen over the next week or month. There's a lot going on, but that's why I wrote the different dynamics going on the blog. So go back and read the blog, and it'll help you understand why there's so much guessing about are we here or are we here. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching.